Welcome to the research world. In this video, we will discuss mediator versus moderator along with the practical examples. So, let's begin. In this model, you can see there are two variables. One is the independent variable that is the language deficit. While on the other hand, there is a dependent variable that is the confidence. It means that the language deficit affects the confidence of an individual. The language deficit means individuals facing problems in the writing or in the speaking of a particular language. Now, mediator is actually the cause of the effect. That what is that variable or that attribute that is causing the effect. For example, in this case, shyness is the mediator because the language deficit creates the shyness and the shyness then in result causes the low confidence of the individual. So the mediator is actually the cause of the effect. While on the other hand there are two variables that is the independent variable is the stress and the dependent variable is the depression. That is the depression is being caused by the stress. Now. In case of the moderator, the moderator basically modifies the form or the strength of the relation of dependent and the independent variable. As we can see, depression is being caused by the stress. But if we see that there is a variable that is the social support, this social support can modify, it can impact the strength of the relation between dependent and the independent variable. If there is more and more social support available to the individuals, so it can result in the low depression. But, in, uh, but on the other hand, if there is no social support available or there is less social support, so there will be more depression. But you can see that this social support is not the result of the stress. It only and only impacts the relationship or the strength between dependent and the independent variable. Now how to differentiate the moderator from the mediator? That how you can determine that what variable will be called as the mediator and what variable will be called as the moderator. So let's discuss the basic criteria. For the mediator, it is necessary that it will be the result of the independent variable and the preceding variable for the dependent variable. As in the previous example, shyness was caused through the language deficit that is the independent variable and then shyness causes the what the low confidence that is the dependent variable while for the moderator there must not be the causal result of the independent variable that is moderator is never and never the result of the what of the independent independent variable but it only impacts the strength of the relationship between independent and a dependent variable. Now see some practical example to clarify these concepts more. Here you can see that there is a independent variable sleep and there is a dependent variable that is work performance. Now there are some uh, factors that uh, we need to identify that what will be those factors, what will be those, the status of those variables, either the moderator or the moderate, uh, the mediator. So let's uh, take the first one that is the physical pain. So now see whether the physical pain is the causal result of the sleep. Yes, of course, if there is a proper and sound sleep, there will be no physical pain and in return there will be the much better performance work performance but if there is uh, no quality sleep so there will be physical pain now you can see that physical pain is the causal result of the sleep so it will be a mediator next one is the mental health 
so if we discuss the mental health mental health is also the causal result of the sleep if there is a proper and sound sleep there will be the good mental health and hence more um, better work performance the third one is the gender if we see at the gender so gender is basically not the causal result of the sleep whether you have a proper and sound sleep or not it will not change your gender you are a male or you are a female that is assigned to you at the time of the birth the sleep have nothing to do with your gender but the gender can impact the what the relation between the sleep and the work performance uh, as the as a case may be in the female workers and the male workers so gender is basically a moderator the next one is the age so age is uh, also not the causal result of the sleep but the age can you know in the case of the elder people there is uh, low and uh, improper sleep so it will automatically impact your work performance but age is not the causal result of the sleep but it can impact the relationship or the strength between these two variables hence it's a moderator the next one is the lack of focus so lack of focus can be caused by the sleep if there is no proper sleep if somebody is not having the proper time for the sleep so automatically he will not be able to focus properly and hence his or her work performance will be affected so in this case lack of focus is the causal result of the sleep so hence it's a mediator so i hope this video will help you to differentiate the concept of the mediator and the moderator